What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new video and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create this Wolverine Claws effect that you guys probably know. If you have a request for a tutorial that I did not do already, make sure to let me know in the comments down below, smash the like button down below and subscribe if you're new because we have many different tutorials of this every single week. And by the way guys, when you're watching this video, I'm currently running a giveaway where I'm gonna give away two physical copies of Vegas Pro. Well, I'm I'm just gonna show you guys. I'm gonna give away two physical copies of Vegas Pro 15 unused sealed everything like that So guys if you want to make sure to grab a copy make sure to check out the gleam.io link in the description The giveaway is only lasting until July 31st so a very you know memorable date so you won't forget it So guys if you want to get a copy check the link in the description so with that out of the way, let's get started with today's video and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean with the Wolverine Claws. Check this out. Pretty cool, right? I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that in this video. So obviously, I will catch you guys right after the intro. <laughs> Okay, now that we are in Vegas Pro 15, there are basically, you know, there's basically one thing that you need and that is only the Wolverine Claw with the sound effect, which is this one. So that's the claw that we need and that video is called Logan Green Screen Wolverine Claws HD that you can find on YouTube and you would just want to basically download that one to your computer and drag it into Vegas. Now what we need to do is we need to first remove the green, so we're going to go to the video effects tab, we're going to click on chroma key right here, pick the default one. We're gonna drag it onto the clip and what we need to do then is uncheck it for a second, click on this blue box, you wanna pick this icon and then you want to click on nice green part. Then you wanna recheck it and as you can see, if I put it like that, the claws are now transparent. So what we need to do is we need to close this out and then we need to go to the track motion icon and we need to basically turn this guy and also uh, mirror it like that. And then we need to basically reset size it until it fits on our hand like that as you can see okay so now what we need to do is as you can see when I move with my hand this is only standing still So as you can see, we need to mask that along with her hand. So we're going to go click on the uh, Ivan Pan Crop icon, which is this one of the claws. Then at the bottom, we need to make sure that we will check the icon sync cursor so it follows our timeline. So what we're going to do then is we're going to just click right here just a few frames further. And then we want to make sure that those claws are aligned with our finger lines right there. So we're going to go ahead and do that and we're gonna place it right here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and move up a few frames again, and then we're gonna just make sure that we will basically keep this claw aligned. Skip a few frames, do it like that, just make sure to position it right like so. Just move up a few frames again, and then as you can see, we want to make sure that it fits nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and skip a few frames, and then when those black holes match our line, that is what we want. So move up a few frames, and then as you can see, we want to also move it just a little bit to the top like that, like that. Move up a few frames again, and then we need to basically go ahead and do it like that. Move up a few frames, make sure that the, that the black lines are nice and aligned. Let me see if I can do do that move up a few frames again just like we did in the beginning and then we're gonna only wait until it is fully disappeared okay so let's play it back and let's see what it looks like pretty cool right Okay, so as you can see at the end, we're moving our hand very quickly right here on this part. But we're going to mask that along. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the uh, event pan crop and we're going to go ahead and make sure that we will align it. I'm going to just add some music because I can keep talking, but it's just basically very, very simple. And we're going to do that and then I'll catch you guys in just a minute. Okay, so now that we've finished masking, this is the end result.
pretty cool, right? Okay guys, that is how to do it. This is how to create the Wolverine Claws effect in Vegas Pro 15. So guys, that's how to do it. This is how you create the Wolverine Claws effect in Vegas Pro 15. And like I've mentioned, if you are new around here, make sure to click subscribe down below, turn on the notification, and check out the giveaway. Link is in the description if you want to get a copy of the software that I just showed you guys. And also make sure to follow me on Instagram. It is at Alex Halford for special updates and Instagram stories about personal things in our life. Guys, that's it. And I'll see you guys on a brand new video on Friday because I'm taking tomorrow off because I'm thinking about a new series I have to take some time for. So thank you for understanding and I'll see you guys obviously on Friday.